Hey everybody, I am getting some questions concerning personal vision and I felt like it would be worth putting together a quick video for you guys. This is in, so some of the questions I've had coming in and as I was sitting in my conference room this morning waiting for the coffee to get done, <laughs> um, my conference room right now is a little bit of a disaster. I can share that with you. I, I don't know. Don't judge. Yeah, there's just papers everywhere. But <clears throat> the interesting thing <clears throat> that I'm noticing about people struggling with their personal visions is, and this again, this is in the context of the vision infrastructure process method. And it's with that methodology that you're going to use the vision piece this is where you're going to be becoming more strategic. Again, the vision infrastructure process method is vision, then infrastructure, then process. You're going to create a vision for where you want to go. You're going to create a business vision that's in alignment with that personal vision. You're going to create infrastructure, the desks, the chairs, the software, all of that stuff that are in alignment with that vision. And then you're going to create processes. The processes are how you do stuff that runs on the infrastructure that you created that all stays in alignment with your vision for the future. That's the VIP method in a nutshell. So right now I've got folks who are in this 100 day transformational summer session, which just started and it goes through the end of the summer. So that way when they're looking back on Labor Day, they go, hey, cool, I got a bunch of really cool stuff done that I really wanted to accomplish. I didn't feel like I wasted my summer. So it's, there is a lot of accountability. And right now they're working on their personal visions. There's a tendency that I see among people that when they're creating their visions for the first time, their personal visions, again, we're doing personal vision first, business vision second. Most people who I end up talking to initially don't really have much of a difficulty telling me what their business vision is. You know, they want, they want a certain number of sales. They want, you know, they want to flip a certain number of houses. They want to have a certain number of customers, whatever that is. And for whatever reason that is, I mean, I've got theories on that, but <clears throat> um, but business vision always seems to be easier to come up with than personal vision. So now that they're being challenged on their personal vision first, this is probably one of the more difficult things that they've ever had to do. And now that they're actually being challenged on what they want in their personal lives, many times the default seems to be, well, let me go out and put a bunch of discovery stuff on there first. And what do I mean by that? They'll put things on there that they see other people doing and they kind of go, well, yeah, I want that for my life. And yeah, oh, what they're doing over there, I want that for my life too. And, and, or maybe they watch a documentary on something and they're just putting stuff on there that you know, when I'm, when I'm on a call with their, their significant other and they're kind of looking at each other going, why did you put that on there? That's not something you've ever mentioned before. <clears throat> This is why I want you, when you're putting your personal visions together and you're starting to question th the things, everything from your life about what you want to be, what you want to have, what you want to do, all of those different areas, I want you to uncover first, discover second. The reason for that is I don't want you laying on your deathbed, you know, decades from now going, man, I wish I had. I wish I had been this. I wish I had done that. I wish I was able to have this thing, right? And also remember that we are human beings. We're not human doings. We're not human havings. We are human beings. So it's easy in the context of personal vision to put stuff on there that for stuff that we want to have big house, cars, whatever. And if that's what you, what winds your clock, I'm not telling you that's wrong. Um, if there's just stuff that would help you make, you know, help enhance your life, then, then that's great. But there are stuff that, you know, things that we want to do for sure. You know, we may want to travel, we may want to do other things, but what state of being would you actually want for you? Like, what are things that you want to be? Maybe you want to be a pilot. Maybe you want to be a big brother, a big sister to somebody. Maybe you want to foster children, right? Maybe this is something, maybe you want to be a parent, right? Whatever it is. But that state of being for you, what is the state of being that you can be? What are the things that you really want to do? And this is where you start to get really deep and you're like, man, I thought this was business stuff. Yeah, but if you don't ever get this stuff defined and this defined well, that this is going to be way deeper than your why. This is going to be way deeper than, than 
anything that you've ever thought of superficially. And <clears throat> you know why I know it's going to be deeper? Because you're going to write it down. And most of the times whenever I challenge folks and say, hey, do you have a vision for where you want to go? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you have it written down? Well, no, I don't have it written down, but it's in my head. And then I challenge them to, to write it down. And they would come back to me and go, holy crap, I never realized how difficult that is to actually write something down that I thought I had pretty clear in my head. So that's a challenge. But before you put a bunch of discovery items on there when you're writing this stuff down, what do you uncover? What are the things that you're just, <clears throat> that you're trying to not think about? The things that you're like, man, I really wish I, when I was 11 years old, I used to dream about this all the time. You know, I was 11 years old. I always dreamed about having four wheelers and riding around, you know, on my land and stuff like that. And that's going to be something that I'm going to do again, right? We're going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to do that as an adult. Driving around when I was a teenager and uh, we, back in the day when we had these big kickers in the back of the car where we'd just drive around and listen to, listen to, to, to all sorts of music because we're just driving around you know, losing, losing time in our, in our day. It was a great time in my life. Would love to resurrect that again. And right now we've got an eight month old home at home. So that's not going to really be conducive for that anytime real soon. But again, that's something that is in my vision. So remember personal vision first, then business vision. The business vision part is going to be easy. The infrastructure part, so they're going to be a lot easier when you have a clear vision of what you're doing this all for. The process parts that you're going to create that are going to run on that infrastructure are going to be way easier for you to come up with once you know what your vision is. So take the time, get really intentional about what it is that you're actually trying to create, what you want your life to look like. You know, if you woke up with $30 million in your bank account, what would your day-to-day -day life look like if you didn't have to worry about income generation? If you're writing that 100th birthday speech, what would you want to say? What would you want said about you? Who would you want to be there? Those are the sorts of questions that I want you to, to consider. If you're getting stuck, drop by my website, markdolfini.com. Schedule a 15 to 20 minute strategy session. If the link is still there, you're still welcome to do it. And because uh, eventually I'll probably take that link down. But, you know, it's not a sales call. It's not a sales call. 15, 20 minutes. Happy to hop on. Happy to help you any way that I can. See you guys next time.